so I'm not a designer I have no artistic skill but real quick I'm gonna show you how I use GIMP a free image editing tool to make a quick simple little logo that uh, text logo that that might look okay on a website uh, that you have so anyway uh, the website that I'm gonna create this logo for is called importing cars to Canada so I'm going to go ahead and type that up here now I'm using the font impact uh, I like impact because it allows me to make some tall text in a fairly narrow amount of space uh, so now that I've got that in there and I like the way that looks I'm gonna center that up using the align tool and uh, you just click here you click the uh, the layer and you click the center button and boom it's done it's centered um, in the middle of the background there I'm gonna move it up a little bit with the arrow key once I click this here I select the layer again and I can use the arrow keys to move it up now I am going to duplicate it that layer and I'm gonna use the arrow keys to move my duplicate copy down until I get it about just below. Now I'm going to go to this layer box and do a layer transform and flip it. So now we have that mirrored effect that a lot of people like. Looks okay. And it's not quite there. Okay, cool. So next move is I'm going to use this gradient tool to, um, to, to, to soften that. So uh, I'm going to go from the foreground to the transparent. I want to because I want to go transparent but I'm gonna have to, that means I'm gonna have to switch from a black foreground to a white foreground. So now that I've got, you wanna make sure you've got this layer selected, go ahead and fill from bottom to top till you get kind of the look you're looking for. I'm, I'm looking for something very soft, not very well defined. I think that's close. One more pass here. Okay, I like that. Now this looks a little weird because I've actually got the bottom layer, the layer below, on top of the top layer. So I'm going to move that layer, that actual text layer up. Boom. Okay, so now that looks a little bit better, right? And I'm also going to reduce the opacity on this layer so that it's even softer still. So that it almost looks like a mirror. So that's a quick, easy trick. If you want to do something fun, uh, or a little bit more fun, you can change this color here from pure black you can change this color to like threes. All threes is kind of a nice gray that takes some of the edge off of it. Uh, you can play with this opacity, maybe take it down to 30% so it's just barely visible. That looks a little nicer still. So anyway, that's uh, just one handy little tool. Last step, because this is a Canadian website, we're going to take this Canadian flag image I got from Photolia. We're going to shrink it down until it's about 100 pixels high. Okay, now we're going to use GIMP as a built-in filter that will turn this into a rounded corner cool little button. And I'm going to adjust these settings just a touch to make this as soft as possible. And yeah, okay, so uh, this adds a background layer that I don't want, so I'm going to delete that. So now we have the Canadian flag on a drop shadow. I'm going to merge the flag down onto that shadow, which is just merged down. Right? Now I'm going to copy this, Control C, paste it here, Control V. I'm going to move this like maybe right here. And then before I paste, I'm going to actually say uh, create a new layer. So now that's a new layer. Last thing I'm going to do, you'll notice my cool little Canadian flag button is right here, but the text on top of it doesn't look quite look right. Uh, if I move this this pasted layer down to below that mirror text, now it really doesn't look right, right? Because we can see that white band. So we're going to go to this mirror text. We're going to go layer, or excuse me, we're going to select that layer. We're going to go to colors, color to alpha, and we're going to take all the white out of that layer. So now we have importing cards to Canada. I'll move this up a little bit. and now we have an actual what some people might consider a logo again I'm no designer but this ain't bad for five minutes so anyway have fun